Hey guys, Tap here with Real Michigan Anglers, and I'm going to do a quick review for the Magreel waders that I got a couple months ago. So I got these before salmon season started because my other pair had a leak. Um, those were the frog togs that I had last. I don't think I even did a review for those yet. So I'm going to do that too. Um, so these were my replacement waders. I've got some pros and cons. I've really got one con and a lot of pros. I really like the design of these. So the thing I like most about these waders is the pouch area. So I got my phone in here. I got my pre-tied leader box. I got pliers. I got all my split shot and my hooks. I've got a bag of spinners. This is in here. I got a crankbait. I got a rod wrap. got a bag of GoPro batteries. That's that's all just in this one pocket. I've got this whole other pocket here. I don't even know what's in there. Some leader line. Eight pound fluorocarbon. And that's all I got in here at the moment. But like all of this, this actually makes it so that I don't need to bring a tackle bag because I can fit all of this stuff right in my waders and it just fits in there. So even with all this stuff packed in here, there's still plenty of room. I could put more things in there. Like, look, I got both my arms down in there with all that stuff in there. So, tons of storage. I absolutely love that. Um, if I can eliminate bringing a tackle bag, I could strap my uh, net to one of these loops. I got my other stuff I need strapped to this other loop. And it's got this pocket warmer also, hand warmer pocket, that I've got a soda in right now. So you can fit a whole soda plus your hands in that pocket with all this other stuff in this pocket. So storage wise, these are like the best waders I've ever owned. I absolutely love the design. The material is kind of thick, good for colder water fishing. These are the non-booted waders. So you gotta supply your own boots. I had a nice pair of Sims boots that I was using with these, uh, but they were super muddy and I left them on my porch and somebody stole them. So I've been using them with my muck boots that works pretty well as well. I like the wading boots a little more. Um, but just any old boot will do, really. So there's the pros. Pretty comfortable, pretty durable. Uh, they've got these knee patches that are supposed to reinforce the knees so that you don't create leaks. Um, I think I've had these for four or five months now. And I do have a tiny pinhole leak in the knee. Um, it really only leaks if I go waist deep, and uh, a lot of the times I just need to get like ankle deep to knee deep to get to where I want to go. So these are still going to be usable for me. I'm going to use these. Um, I'm going to get another pair to wear when I need to do deeper wading in the winter when I don't want to get a little bit wet. But as of now, the pinhole is pretty tiny, like the outside of my pants get wet, but I'm still dry on the inside. So not bad. Uh, if I compare this to other waders I've owned, like my frog togs that I just replaced because they had a leak, um, those ones lasted me six months. Um, the pair that I had before that were my Hodgman's. Those lasted me three trips before they started leaking. Okay, and these actually are cheaper than both of those pairs. So for a really good, comfortable pair of budget-friendly waders, these are the waders. Uh, disappointed with the pinhole for sure. Um, but it's pretty much par for the course. If I can get six months to a year out of a pair of waders, that's actually pretty good, generally speaking. I've never had waders last more than a year unless it's because I only fished once or twice. I fish multiple days a week, and I'm rough on my gear, so a little pinhole doesn't really upset me, and I'm not really holding a big negative on the Magreel waders because of that, but it's worth mentioning. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more review videos and more fishing videos.